Big question, so does any of these pieces come together? Same universe, so to speak. The same plane and universe, I'd say. They come together pretty well. Uh, at least these three. I see. This one's more in a, like, aquatic uh, freaking system. These guys are more on dry land. Oh, bro. It feels, it feels like they're more like, what's the word they use, uh, amphibian? A Vivian, yeah. Yeah, the, the or Vivian or like he's aquatic. I don't know what family is with submarine and and then we got just kind of dry land. You got, you got like a desert universe right here. You got like these guys desert with like a more like a hole in the ground. So you got bats coming out. Wow. And then this guy's more of a space universe. He's got like kind of like that uh, ectoplasm coming straight. Like, and yeah. Then, uh, and that dagger, does that dagger symbolize a thrust I mean, like, that he'll make, or...? Uh, it's more like a... Yeah, it's definitely a thrust. He's, like, preparing for the storm that's coming this way. And he's about to charge up this hand with some sort of uh, enchantment. But yeah. it's more of just, yeah, just the thrust. And, I mean, the dagger's so small, you really ask yourself, what really can he bend off? But, obviously, it's a lo he's got, like, a lot of stuff. Maybe he looks for the weakness of the enemy. Yeah. Like underneath the armor or an eye. Something that unsuspected. Precision. Unsuspected. And yeah, I mean, and he's got a, I mean, like, you wonder, like, if this, he's capable of creating this out of his sweater. Yeah, it's not like. You, you, you ask, like, what else can he come out? Uh, obviously, he's got more than this guy. His fingers look like they're sophisticated moving. Yeah, it's definitely like, uh, it's, it's, you can tell someone's about to come out of this. And it's not going to be another dagger. It probably is going to be an enchantment. And then you got these squids. You got these, uh, I know they don't go too well with the rest of this series. Yeah. But I'm telling you again, I'll, I said it once before. Uh, we got just the capability of creating all these uh, tentacles. And it's more of something I have, to, I have to show everyone. Hey, these are the tentacles and I, I'm, I'm capable of creating this. This chaos with precision. Well, well, what do you got to say about that? And I mean, you can challenge me on that. And then we got to just, like I was saying before, I mean, this doesn't really talk too much about in fashion, but we got like uh, stuff that we hide, and we got our sweaters, and we got whatever we use to protect ourselves. Show it off with fashion, and then there's also a dark undertone. Like that, you know? Wow, yeah, this guy here looks like he's engulfed. Mm -hmm. And he's, so that's a sweater you can kind of tell that he's, uh, just by the uh, slight nonverbal communication, he's part, probably, a vampire. He's got, like, the hair coming down, and then he's got a little, what is that? It's cut in the shirt, or is he a vampire? Yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, is it is it a fang? Uh, you know, a canine tooth, or is it is it like a crease yeah. for, like, flexibility? So just those undertones telling you what really is going on. He's a man. This guy it's is like a Trump. cave dweller. But yeah, and bats yeah. live in caves. Yeah. And he's probably got guano somewhere in there. But uh, yeah, definitely. What do you? Or, I mean, a lot of be slime ooze guano. What call you? It's a shit ton. But I gotta grow. I gotta go grab this thing. The show.